Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Clappingo, Shaheen. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, yeah, thank you. I'm pretty well. Okay, that's great. Good to see you again. Two sessions at a stretch together. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how you managed to get two sessions together because just now two learners told me I'm not able to see you at all. Where are your slots? <laughs> uh, I booked your lesson in last week. So as soon yes, as yes, I finished yes. my last yes, session, yes. That's I why. checked That's I, why didn't, I didn't get free slot. So I booked at the end of the week. Yes, yes, I know. You did it early. That's why you got. Yeah, I know. Okay, so any clarification, any doubt before I go into the topic? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't have any doubt. Uh, I have written a few lines uh, okay, again on bring... language, but on different aspects. But from a different uh, perspective, yeah, on different course. aspects. Okay, okay. Uh, different perspective. Please read. Uh, Aren't you feeling yeah. well? Are you okay? <laughs> no, cold and cough. Okay, take care. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's just common, it's not too much. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, today I have written why English language is so difficult for English learners. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, on, the first place, uh, on the first place, it has only 26 letters out of it, fire vowel, uh, vowels, and yeah. uh, 21st are consonants. While other languages uh, have separate letters uh, for each sound and 12 vowels means Marathi and Hindi, I'm talking about yeah, Marathi. Yeah, 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 yeah. So learners has to play with only 26 letters to make 42 or 44 sounds. Mm -hmm. it, it makes even more difficult. Moreover, it is, a, it is not a phonetical language. There is no certain rule for pronunciation and spellings. Besides, uh, English language has borrowed uh, words from different languages uh, of the world, like French, Greek, Latin, Italian, India. And that is why it is difficult to frame it in a fixed structure, because each language has its own rules of pronunciation and grammar. Due to above all reasons, non-native speakers um, find it difficult to uh, learn English. However, we Indians overcome this hurdle to a great extent. To master this language, one should learn English like we learn our mother tongue. Absorb it, speak more and more English, incorporate it in your daily routine. So uh, do something, speak, read, write, and listen. Do something every day. Learning any language is not a magic that you will get it overnight or like a medicine if you take it for a few days and you will improve. No, not at all. Instead of learning uh, two to four hours once in a week or twice in a week, do something on daily basis. It will help it to connect with it or absorb with it. So absorb. Graduate. Very good. I like that particular line. Absorb, incorporate. It's not magic. It is not like taking pills. So that particular, those lines were really powerful. Very good. Now coming to the mistakes, okay? The first thing is when it comes to the pronunciation, there are rules actually. Not specific, distinct rules. Maybe that, that is what you meant. But we have got something known as received pronunciation. RP. It is called RP. RPG. It's not accent or pronunciation. There are two types of pronunciation. There is British. One is British and one is American, which is widely yes. accepted. RP is received pronunciation. That is a standard pronunciation. It comes from the British English because they are the native speakers. Actually, yes. Americans are not the native speakers. The native people of America is are not the people that we see now. It is uh, actually but, the uh, one question is there. I watched in a video that uh, so many dialects are there in uh, America and uh, in uh, British English as well. UK, UK. percent people of UK speak uh, RP English, standard English, which uh, uh, Queen uh, used 
yeah which the queen uses that is a perfect english that is how it's supposed to be yeah But dialect is something use, uh, different dialect yes yes because when you go to scotland they have got a different dialect that is region specific like for example in hindi we have got that yeah. right it differs from place to place it is very region specific so actually there are no yeah. rules but still we have got a way of pronouncing a particular word suppose you take this word uh banana 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 you say banana it's correct when it is american it's banana when it's british it is uh, banana yes. but you say banana like an indian or a normal person that is also correct but you can't say banana that is wrong yes. or banana that is so that there are some rules the second point that you need to focus on is it is indirectly borrowed from greek latin french some italian words are also there but i don't think indian words are there like now we are using lot of indianized words like bangalow chutnification all these words are uh, taken from I, the I've, indian i i watch a video again i watch a video of uh, uh there is a channel uh, name english nut and uh, yes. he interviewed uh, shashi tharoor dr shashi tharoor uh, yes yes and they discussed of uh, words like uh, shampoo they have taken yes, it from yes, yes, uh, yes. shampoo shampoo bungalow bangles jumper uh, yes so yes the uh, loot that is actually that is for convenience sake it has been changed but now you are talking about how the words the loan words have been borrowed directly for example when you take words like seizure measure it sounds like french so french word is taken and small alteration is done greek also some words are there but when it comes to the indian words it came later not when english was born now we are using words from that is what they meant like shampoo champagne some some words are given there brinjal bangla all these words are from the indian language and that is how indian english got accepted but during those times it is 17th century 16th century nobody knew about these words there's another word chutnification chutnification is mixing up things and chutney just like chutney and that was introduced by a writer named salman rushdie the famous yes. writer so like that that is what they meant but not when english was born so now you are speaking about the loan words like french greek latin so that is like that it is born from there okay it is borrowed from there okay now coming to the grammatical errors how do you pronounce l e t t r l e t t e r letter letter now you are correct you said later when you yeah, when you I make, I make that kind of mistakes when two okay. uh, words are same uh, i tend to make mistakes <laughs> okay so it's later i will catch up catch you up later or i'll catch up later later and later later okay yes yes i yes. always uh, mix up okay the next one hurdle i think you meant hurdle somewhere the hurdles that we face that yeah, is obstacles that hurdle okay now what is the mistake here on the first place what is the mistake there means you said uh, on, on the first or first there's a small mistake try to find out on the first place in the first place yes in the first place in the first place the next one is uh, learners has to play learners has to pay whatever you meant learners yeah. has to pay uh, actually it was not learners it's learner has to play but i think i say learners yeah you said learners so if it's learners it's have either it should be learners have to or learner has to correct correct okay then you said it makes even more difficult it makes it even more difficult okay it makes it more difficult okay yeah yes you said even also so it makes it that it is very important even you put even or not it is important okay okay um that's it maybe those are the mistakes but well written the last two lines are splendid very good written very well the power is there okay that's good okay so anything else any clarification shall i go into the session yeah sure today's topic is weddings weddings Okay. okay so what are some of the observations that uh, you have made when it comes to indian weddings 
many things. <laughs> okay, one by one. You just give me four four points. Uh, whenever uh, wedding planning is going on, first thing comes to my mind, decoration, then cuisine, mm. menu. Yes, yes. Uh, another thing that, uh, uh, what jewelry? Jewelry, yeah. Uh, uh, bride is going to wear like uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. The night, in the reception, everything is there, yes. Okay. And with bride, the friends also decide <laughs> what we are going to wear. <laughs> yes, they will look more beautiful on the on that big day. It's yes. like they will look more uh, elegant. Sometimes it happens, not every time. Sometimes they will look very attractive because they give a lot of importance. Yes, correct. And... Uh, Fourth one is uh, I'm all I'm always in dilemma whenever it comes to give somebody gift. So what, what gift to give? should I give? <laughs> and means yeah, my focus yeah. is gift should be something which the person can use. Otherwise, yes, yes, we just give and it's useless. Then it's um, kept in the corner. It's kept yeah. in the corner if it's a showpiece and all. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what are some of the things that people are uh, what to say extraordinarily spending on or they are uh, very very you know spendthrifts when it comes to wedding the indians like to be spendthrift they would just like to lavishly spend on these and these these things which is not required they could minimize there and maybe maximize uh, the spending part in something else which is useful uh, under my observation, so many things are there, which personally I don't like. Uh, if uh, someone is getting married, if 100 people are there or 50 people are there or 10 or 1000 people, marriage is marriage, they are getting married and it will be acceptable. Uh, Corona taught us that uh, we can get married in yes. presence of 10 guests and 1000 guests as well. So I think People spend a lot of money first thing on decoration, then I told you cuisine. People eat, people rest the food, and uh, they uh, give their opinion. Food was not good, this dish was yeah. not good, it was expensive. Means the person who is taking a lot of effort, cooks, they are taking a lot of efforts, they are working throughout night. And, yes. Uh, person who is eating he just gave that uh, one feedback within one minute so i think it should not happen great uh, decorations Good. and all those things then rent of that function hall <clears throat> really it's not required instead of making those uh, sorry uh, expenditures they can invest that money for the future of that bride or groom or they can give that money yes. to do something uh, sometime in my area in maharashtra uh, a few people are like they don't want to spend on education or other important things but they'll save for their uh, for a dowry and for a lavish mm -hmm. wedding yeah yeah so people are yes, like yeah. that so i think these things are not necessary uh inviting relatives it uh, is uh, necessary or uh, it's our tradition so uh, you can invite some close relatives. It's not necessary that you have to uh, show off or uh, just flaunt that yeah, we have that kind of grand wedding and all. Because people are going to forget all those things after a few days. So um, why do you spend that important. much money? Yes, 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 yes. So, so from what you're trying to tell me, I feel the wedding, the marriage itself is like a sacrament or it is it is something which is very holy pure it has got that sanctity whatever religion or custom you take it has got its sanctity sometimes when we give importance to all these things of course you have to give importance to food and such kind of things but extraordinary flamboyance or extra you know exaggerating things will definitely spoil the sanctity and the ritual also people will not 
because i have seen people when the ritual is going on every religion every custom will have their own religious rites and rituals it will be there at that time people will run around to do makeup photographers will uh, you know walk in and out hello okay so photographers is it's like yes, you know voice was breaking yeah can you hear me now yeah yeah now i can hear you okay so it is their duty to do all this work but sometimes it becomes very disturbing it becomes very disturbing yeah, when the people also exactly. walk up and down and they want to adjust their dress every 10 seconds 40 seconds okay so that is also there <laughs> okay yeah. now you gave this important word what are your thoughts on it dowry yes see it dowry. has become it, it it is something which we think about because it is our tradition it's a custom you go to any part of india it is a custom it's a tradition but still now these days it has become a big problem which has become a headache for the society yes, for the course. country national level problems you can see something happens in one corner And, of the uh, country yes female forticide uh, forticide is the uh, result yeah. of that dowry system yes 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 and uh, now at the present situation many boys are not getting girls of their religion to get married so they are getting married uh, married in another religion so i don't i don't believe in religion but they say that we didn't get uh, bride of our caste so we brought we go uh, to the other yeah <laughs> yes 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 that is correct That prioritizing is. is not happening okay invitation what have you observed when it comes to invitation you know making the cards inviting people any anything that comes to your mind uh i've seen people they make beautiful cards uh i think i've seen someone who had printed uh, invitation card worth i think 500 rupees something one card for 500 rupees okay and what we did with that card we just took it we saw we say wow how beautiful card it is and we kept it a corner and after that when we were cleaning in our house cleaning our house we uh, threw it in a dustbin mm yeah yes it happens i think uh, mm, uh e invitation on whatsapp or through email is enough i think nowadays in okay in this contemporary uh, era but have you come across people who make a big fuss for that also she didn't come to my house and invite or at least send the e invitation yes, go to that has become a very big fussy part where they say you didn't come to my house but you went to her or his house and invited them separately you didn't come <laughs> it that has happened the... to in my family Uh, someone invited uh, our family but they gave the invitation in someone hands someone's hand and they didn't come that become, oh, my mother that became a problem oh okay okay <laughs> yeah, that becomes a problem sometimes I, saying you call me you didn't call her the person the person who is uh, going to distribute at cards is it do you think that it is possible to go to everyone's house and uh, invite them personally it's not a easy task and uh, that wedding was not from local area it was from mm-hmm. other place and mm-hmm. uh, people especially elderly people they have the pride that someone should come to me personally and invite me that only i'll go <laughs> yeah yeah that is also there yes that is also i think part of our thought mindset and everything yes okay on this particular word gala gala is an indian word actually it is accepted from the indian english lot of noise lot of color okay uh, that is gala lot of um, what to say energy everything together which is seen in the indian weddings it's it's really colorful most of the weddings most of the customs it's very colorful you see all the colors when you go for an indian wedding yes okay 
now coming to the next one what do you think is this what is this because people fight for this companionship so companionship of course marriage is companionship you're sharing your life with another person entire life with another person people have got all the wrong ideas also when it comes to companionship soulmate partner what is it for you a uh, companionship it's something first time i'm thinking about it i haven't mm-hmm. think uh, before thought about it. i think i haven't thought about people, it i haven't thought about it uh, i think two people uh, who have taken decision to live together for a uh, whole life so they should have a mutual understanding mm. and nobody is perfect so one should accept that perf- that person with their uh, what can i say their uh, wholeheartedly they should accept uh, yeah uh, with their uh, drawbacks their plus points and then yeah with all the well. yes yes shortcomings uh, and Uh, yeah because imperfections imperfections, imperfections. both sides yeah. both side uh, both has side. Uh, have imperfections so mm-hmm. they should accept it and uh, and uh, there should be mutual mutual understanding is more important and uh, it's not about only two people uh, it's about two families and especially the bride who is going to live with the her mm-hmm. in-laws so mm. again it's father in law mother in law uh, brother in law it's again otherwise if suppose only a husband or wife they have very uh, good bonding but it's not uh, with other family members then there is no peace of mind yes that's also there i've seen many uh, people they are married they have kids but they say i'm in this marriage only because of my kids so yeah. for all the wrong reasons yes 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 and they don't have mutual understanding sometimes from female side sometimes from male side so there should be mutual understanding and uh, i think uh, i'm not in favor of living relationship but at least a person yeah. should know each other at least for 6 month at least for 6 month they should spend uh, some time with each other means they can get uh, is this person suitable for me or can i handle his or her tantrums or uh, our mindsets are our mindsets are it's not possible to say but is it uh, is the person is easy to handle mhm yes yes that's true that is true that's correct but sometimes in some case you know we will not be able to understand the person completely because when you're living together after marriage you know you are living you are sharing your space with another person but maybe 60% you will be able to understand because otherwise you are calling or you are meeting for some time maybe for a coffee or maybe the whole day you are together but then again you are back to your own um, house you don't know when you when you share your space when you start sharing your things uh, when you live together that is when problem starts and it's more of uh you know when they compromise when they adjust with happiness it should be with happiness yes. and they should never say i sacrificed everything for you that feeling should shouldn't be there if they feel that i'm sacrificing everything for one person she or he is not doing anything for me then you should stop there because then it can lead to frustration yes. and that will always break a relationship yes correct okay so any doubts no no doubts okay now in the next session i'll be doing an activity with you with words okay so before okay. this session ends i'll just give you another thing what you should do is i'll show you some words you should put it in a specific tense the first word is hop you have to make a sentence with hop and it should be in the past tense okay uh i was sitting in the garden and some strange creator creator i saw scrolling towards me so immediately i hopped 
<laughs> creature. It's actually creature. 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 Okay. creature. okay. Good. Well done. The next one is hope. Hope is, you should put it in the future tense. I hope I'll get uh, booking for next week <laughs> for your session. For your session. <laughs> Okay, the next one is I too hope. <laughs> the next one is personal. Personal past. Uh, in past tense. Yes. Uh, my personal relation with one of my friends was very good, but nowadays we have some issues. Okay. People. Present tense. Tense. Present, present. Uh, nowadays, uh, people are addicted to technology or they are more and more dependent on technology. Yes, addicted to technology, is enough. Yes, correct. The next one. Yeah, forest. Forest. Forest, uh, you choose a tense. Choose a tense. Past, present, future. Uh, present, continuous. Okay. Present tense. Forest. Uh, we have been roaming into the forest for two days and we are lost our way. Or, uh, okay. We have been roaming in the forest for uh, the yeah, past two days. We have been roaming in the forest or is it possible to say through through the forest? Yeah, we have been roaming in the forest or we have been uh, walking through the forest. Roaming for two in days because yeah. we have lost our yeah, route yeah. or way. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Responsibility. Past tense. Uh, last year, I had a lot of responsibilities and uh, due to that, I couldn't uh, give much time for self-improvement. So this year, I have okay, taken stop. responsibility. Self yeah, okay, and fine. So, yeah. Okay, the last one. Prefer. Prefer. Presentence. I prefer tea over coffee. Okay, good. So I think we'll meet in the next session. It's almost time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.